So we are standing up for the best learning conditions for our kids and the best teaching conditions for our teachers. Breaking news happening right now in Reynoldsburg. Students are going to school this morning while their teachers go on strike. Good Day Columbus reporter Mike McCarthy is live at Reynoldsburg High School where the picket lines, Mike, seem to have been growing over the last hour. Pete, they certainly have been growing over the last hour, and the teachers at Reynoldsburg High School this morning, they are holding picket signs saying things like fighting for the schools our students deserve. Their union rep says this is not what the teachers wanted to do in this district, but they feel like they had to go on strike. What do we want? Well, the Reynoldsburg Education Association voted to go on strike last night, and their representative told us the teachers overwhelmingly voted against the district's final contract offer. The union's last contract, it expired over the summer. A federal mediator met with both sides of this issue yesterday, and the district ended up offering to go to what's called binding arbitration. Basically, that would have meant a neutral party would have stepped in and decided on the final deal. But the union says the district hasn't even come close to offering an acceptable offer yet. Our team offered reasonable compromises. Um, and yet our Board of Education would not really sit down and talk to us in a reasonable way about what our teachers have been saying all summer long. Well, the union remains concerned about several things, the biggest of which appears to be class sizes, but there's also concerns about the teacher turnover rate as well as merit-based pay. We have tried to speak with the school district about the strike since it is happening now, but so far no one has been made available. So this morning, the district is bringing in replacement staff to take the place of the teachers now out here on the picket lines. The district is also bringing in new security that is here right now just to make sure everything stays orderly. And so far, it has been fairly quiet with the exception of the occasional car horn coming by sounded support for these teachers. We're live in Reynoldsburg. Mike McCarthy, Good Day Columbus.